this side down. Let's see, in this room I have one, two, three, four, five, six blue towels, including seven, including these. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six blue towels, including this one, the two dirty ones. I got three clean ones to go through. Episode of Poop TV was actually brought to you from all three kittens. Two kittens, uh, Spock and Orion pooped on the. Let me see. Spock pooped on Orion. Orion pooped on Mom. Pooped on the towel. Fortunately, I saw it before somebody crawled through it. Roses, if Bobby comes, I have no doubt at all that she will make a proper contribution to the towel gods. Right now, we do not have a time for Bobby's arrival. Things are up in the air right now because my mom is in the hospital. She's okay now, but um, they don't know if she's having some kind of attacks that give her nausea, severe depression, sadness, um, dizziness, and memory loss. But the moment she went to the hospital, it was gone. It stopped happening. So it all depends on how things go with that. If I bring Bobby tomorrow. Like she's doing fine right now. She hasn't had an attack. Uh, she's frustrated because she wants to have an attack now so they can figure out what's going on. No, she'd rather be home, but she doesn't mind being taken care of, uh, you know, by a bunch of people. It's 
Like I started 24 hours earlier, but she didn't really, my she didn't tell my dad until yesterday afternoon. Is because she after a few minutes after the event, she forget that she had the event. So my dad gave her a pad to write down the symptoms while they were happening. And then after she had another event, she goes to write things down and see that she already did. Yeah, that's many strokes are one of the things they're checking for. They did an EEG result, a test earlier this afternoon. But other than the nurses saying normal EEG, I have not, we have not heard from the doctor yet. They're not panic attacks. I'm hoping it's just related to her, that her related to low blood pressure. Because her, her blood pressure is low right now. And since she's been in the hospital, she's been laying down. And now they have cuffs on her legs to keep the blood from cooling and, and clotting, which increases her blood pressure. So that's what I'm hoping for. Well, she's been drinking water. We've been trying to make sure that she gets plenty of water. Want to finish that off, Mom? We have peace and tranquility at the nerf bar. They did a lot of blood tests on her and everything came back with the normal ranges. Teppy's eating better too. One of my cats uh, been syringe feeding because he stopped eating due to sinus issues, not being able to smell. I cleared his nose, his nose crusts over, and I cleared across and then waited until um, it's not drained out. Used an infant ear syringe to drain his nose, and then he was happy to eat. Good job, Mom. In fact, I'll be giving him a... Normally, the amount that he ate is normally what I've been able to... It's about 24 milliliters of wet food. And he eats about one or two two uh, sessions of those, but he gets he's still weak and gets tired, so I give him a break. He's walking around better. Not, he's still wobbly, but he's not falling over if he shakes his head. But when he turns around, it gets a little wonky. Yep, Mama smells poop. She's like, oh man, it got on my tail.
Leg two. Ryan's trying to go to sleep. Maggie doesn't want to go to sleep. Not Maggie. Ziggy. It's not, the names are too close to similar, and they look similar, so I could get them mixed up. I think Spot wants to go to sleep, too. I have another kitten that sounds like Spock, I hope. <laughs> Tabby turns 12 in a couple weeks. The Tabby Cougar. Yeah. It's like I have a lot of. It's like this time of year, all my cats have. You know, tend to, somebody gets sick, but it's this exact same issue, and it's always around this time of the year. I figure it's still due to the colder temps. Peepers. You guys want to see peepers? Let me switch over to the broadcaster so that I can pull it up. Let me pause the video. You guys, some peepers. Right now, they... You, their eyes have just opened. They everything's blurry. They can't see much. So, but within the next week, their vision will start getting better, and they can see more than just blotches of color. Give me a little miss. There we go. Nice and secured. It's like, you can put me down now. He's like, oh, I'm okay. I'm happy. Profile shot. Are you falling asleep? She looked right at me when I said that. The boys are scrapping at the bar. I can't find anything because the smells are different. There you go. Here's mommy. You smell mommy now? They hear Dorian out in the hallway. Let's see if Mama hears them. If you, for the curious out here, here's what the broadcasting software looks like. Let me see if I can get ref without reflections. Somebody sneezing.
Why are you falling asleep, damn piggies? We have happy moms with the boys grabbing. Here, let's try this. Sorry, Ziggy. Did not mean to wake you. It's okay, Mama. I got this. Unless she needs to poop, then you got it. Get used to my my own scent, so I'm not this a scary stranger. If you turn up your volume, you probably hear her rooting just before I said that. Anyway. She's purring now. Ziggy. She's staring into my eyes. I am slow blinking her so hard.
Just as a heads up, if Bobby does not come here this weekend, she'll probably she'll most likely be here eventually to merge them in later. So keep your hopes up for Bobby. Looking towards the door area, her eyes are locked on me. And they're closing. Yeah, we definitely want to merge her in with another litter just so she can have playmates and learn how to play nice. Kittens, as a single kitten in a litter, tend to play overly rough as an adult. <laughs> Am I making funny noises? Are you full there, Ziggy? Before I had my teeth worked on, I could I can make a sound of birds chirping, a couple dozen birds chirping all at the same time. Now it's a lot harder to, to do. <laughs> That's probably annoying. <laughs> the chatter said CC sounds of sick duck sick duck calls reminds me I went to a drive through earlier and the speaker wasn't working it sounded like they were holding a duck up to a bullhorn and going squeak squeak Making a quack into the bullhorn, squeezing. Peace and tranquility once again. Mom's drifting off, so I will probably head out shortly.
Yeah, it's nice and peaceful. I'm not going to do the weigh in just yet. I'll come in before I go to bed and do the weigh in. Unless the kittens start screaming up a storm before I go to bed or before I leave. And as far as the video and audio glitches, I hope that will be resolved next Monday. Right now I'm utilizing USB over IP, which basically means the webcams are plugged into a laptop, and that laptop is routing the video to another computer. And then the other computer thinks the, basically thinks that the webcams are plugged into it. On Monday, I'm going to change it. I'm going to try setting it up using um, USB repeater cables, which basically allows me to have a 68 foot USB cable. The computer that's actually doing the broadcasting is about 50 feet from the kennel cage. A couple rooms over and a floor down. I'm using it as a space heater for my, in my computer room. If you have issues with the cam, with all cams in general, try wa try watching in Chrome. I had problems with Firefox, so I started using Chrome for watching the kitten cams, and I've had have I have not had any problems with it. Chrome does not use Flash, I believe anyway. Or no, it does, but. The way Firefox uses Flash is buggy, and they have no intention on fixing it, at least the last time I looked. Chrome does not have the same issues. And occasionally if things just aren't working weird or things are working weird no matter what browser press control F5 which forces a full refresh not using the cache control F5 if you're on a Mac oh, I'm getting stiff so I'm gonna head out enjoy the kittens have a nice day No box using yet.